Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee Brenniger and I'm a Presidential Student Ambassador here at West Virginia University and I am in a funk and it's frustrating because you have goals and you have plans and you have values that you want to hold for yourself and you try really hard and tell yourself to keep going and when you get in a funk like this it's difficult to see past this moment. It's possible and it's something that's important to strive for, but it's very difficult. And I know that I'm not the only person that experiences this and gets in a funk sometimes. And so I want to take a moment to affirm that people do get in a funk and you're not this unproductive waste of space that it can sometimes feel like when you can't motivate yourself to move. Affirming that that's an experience that a lot of people have at some point in their lives and it's not something that makes you any less valuable as a person. So with that in mind, I'm going to talk about a few techniques that I use to get out of a funk. Ways to help myself get out of bed, perform self-care without guilt, and become inspired again. When I'm in a funk like this, it's very difficult for me to get out of bed. Sometimes I'll go a whole week not getting out of bed until 2 p.m. However, an app that I've been finding super helpful recently is Alarmy. It's an alarm app that requires you to complete a mission to make the alarm go off. For instance, I have to scan the barcode on a cookbook in my kitchen to disarm the alarm, which requires me to get out of bed and go downstairs. And once I'm out of bed, it's much easier for me to stay up. So. If you have trouble getting out of bed, I highly recommend this app. There are several different, several different mission types to choose from, and it's super effective for me. Once I'm up, sometimes I have a difficult time justifying completing self-care acts. One, because it feels pointless, and two, because I feel guilty the whole time since I have so much work to do. There are two ways that I like to combat this. First, it's important to acknowledge how not completing self-care acts will negatively impact your future self. If you neglect to refuel, then you're not going to be as productive when you go to work. But secondly, it's so important to acknowledge that you deserve self-care. I get out of bed early because I get to bed early because my body deserves rest. I meditate in the morning because I deserve a strong mind. And I go to for walks because I deserve to feel the fresh air and to clear my head. It's important to realize that you don't have to earn your right to self-care. It's something that you deserve and you have the right to because you are a cognizant being that requires it in order to be happy and fulfilled. And while self-care looks a bit different for everyone, it's always intrinsically motivated. So I encourage you to do some reflecting to figure out what it is that you need to be taken care of on a very basic level so that you'll feel a bit more prepared to tackle the day. However, sometimes when you get in the funk, everything sort of just looks gray and you're not even sure what it is that you enjoy or what brings you life. So it's important to try to remember what it is that you love. I think for me, I've been getting a lot of plants recently and it's been really nice to be around living things in my home, which is the first step to getting outside. And the outdoors for me is something that I really, really love. But when I'm in a funk, sometimes I don't want to leave my house. And so bringing plants in has been really helpful for me because it makes me want to go outside more. I've also been listening to music and dancing and trying to find that spark. And the thing is, we're all so different. So what brings me joy might look a lot different than what brings you joy. I just encourage you to do that um, reflecting and try to remember what it is that you loved and then have faith that eventually those things will bring you joy again. Because at first they don't. The, you know, like the first few days or week that I was listening to music consistently, it was kind of bland, but eventually it did start working. It just takes time. And above all, be patient with yourself. Change and forming new habits and new ways of thinking take persistence, but they also require patience. If you have a bad day, offer yourself some grace and know that any past mistakes or shortcomings have no bearing on the choices that you can make right now 
to set yourself up for success in the future.